So far this year, the city's pockmarked with bullet holes and shell casings, such as here at Reading and McGregor more than a week ago, and here at Liberty near Lynn in the West End around 1 a.m. The authorization of 300 grand to provide overtime pay for police comes as shootings spike. From New Year's Day to last week, there have been 62, an 87% jump from the same seven weeks a year ago, eight in the last week alone. You know, I just don't want to see people hurt anymore. Tired of seeing people hurt, says Mitch Morris. He does outreach on the street. He's all about any extra money for visibility. Spin out, do whatever you need to do to save somebody's life. I mean, what is it going to take, man? I mean, to get you up to start trying to do something. You got six-year-old kids getting shot in the chest, nine-year-old girls getting shot. Sissy Thompson's killing in Mount Auburn remains under investigation, unsolved. Police command says identifying emerging hotspots and increasing bike officer visibility are part of the short-term push in several different neighborhoods. We've seen some things again in OTR starting to increase, so we want to focus on that. Districts 1, 3, and 4 are seeing the most shootings. The ebb and flow of flooding hotspots with visibility is a well-worn, frequently traveled road. It always works. The problem is you can't maintain it over the course of an entire year. Price Hill community leader Pete Whitty sees a constant cycle. No one could quantify how many shootings are linked to the city's heroin problem, only that it's a definite factor. In those hot spots is where we lose families. They get tired of dealing with it. We lose homeowners. Here's other numbers for the stat sheet, 25 million and 3%. The former is the city's projected deficit. The latter is what police will be asked to trim. The budget balancing of safety and resources will occupy a lot of space over the next few months. Mike.